Welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we'll take a look at quantum numbers and I will make a, um, an honest and concerted effort to explain what the quantum numbers, the set of quantum numbers uh, are for every single one of these electrons and how that describes the location of the electron within the atomic orbital structure inside an atom. Now note again, we can't really determine uh, specifically where the uh, electron is at any given point in time, but we can sort of predict where these electrons can be. And then we use quantum numbers or a set of quantum numbers to describe uh, where the electron could possibly be. Now the way we de uh, sort of describe where the electron can be, okay, we describe them in a set of four numbers, one, two, three, and four. And what we do is put them in parentheses and then we separate them with commas, just like you see over here in the upper right hand corner. Now that first number that you see right there, okay, that's known as the principal quantum number. And the principal quantum number tells us what energy level, okay, that uh, electron is at. Now, if you look at the periodic table, and I'll just kind of do a kind of a rough sort of drawing of the periodic table, you'll note that if you count the number of rows as you go down, okay, there's a total of seven. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, what about these guys right here, the two rows that you see right there? And that's the F block. Well, the F block happens to fit in between the S block and the D block right here. And if you didn't know, this is the S and the D block. And this right here is the F block, okay? Um, so technically, there are just seven total uh, energy levels. So again, what the principal quantum number tells us, again, is what energy level the electron will be in. And since there's only seven, the only possible values that can fit into this space is one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. And that's it. And uh, we'll continue with the discussion of the other quantum numbers um, in another uh, Show Me video. We'll see you then.